Hey, how you doing? This is Tom here with Jared, and we are in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere. Nowhere, New Mexico. Nowhere, New Mexico. Why am I so red? I don't know. I might make it black and white. Okay, so, so yeah, I um, we're going to make a, I'll say, we're gonna, Jared and I are together yep. because we're going to make a very special announcement and then I'll give it to you after, you say after six months of filming and editing and donations and whatever, okay? Mm -hmm. We are happy to announce how we're going to do this, yeah. What are we going to say? Okay. Let's just try it. Okay. Is it recording? It okay. Is. So, Russ Dizdar comes back from a conference in Texas that he went to, that he spoke at in Lubbock, Texas. And he's telling me about this guy that he met down there, Jared. He's like, man, I wish this guy lived up here. I wish he was on our team. And after some time went on, Jared and I kind of hooked up. Uh, through Facebook and began talking on the phone because we were just kind of, um, I'm kind of the guy that people go to when they can't get a hold of Russ and they have a question or they're like, you know, hey, what do you think about this? So Jared and I kind of uh, struck up a friendship and began just kind of uh, praying together and talking about cases that we were working on. And I ended up flying down to uh, Texas long time since I made a video. I've been working a lot of hours, but I got some time off and I came out to Texas to see my brother. And we are right now um, in the middle of Texas somewhere. Tatum. Tatum, Texas. And we're on our way to Roswell. And we're like, man, we, we want to work together on something. And at one point we had an idea, we're going to do a podcast together. And that never, um, that never came to fruition. And so we were just kind of like, okay, what's going on? We don't, we don't know what we're going to work on together. Um, you know, ritualistic activity, items have been found. Uh, groups of people have come out here to do, you know, whatever it is they do. I mean, it's, it's all walks of life have made it out here to do something occultic. And one day he called me up out of the blue and he's like, hey, what's going on with you? I was like, funny you should say that. I said, the Lord has called me to make a movie. And I told him what it was about, and immediately he's like, that sounds amazing. He's like, I want to do whatever I can to help you make that movie. And I was like, awesome. I said, you're going to be the producer. He's like, what's that? Um, I said, well, I'll show you. Yeah, I, I didn't. I don't really know what a producer does other than um, help. I mean, help with everything, logistically, making plans, finding people. Initially, that's what it was, was... Uh, uh, jumping out, getting out there, making sure we could find credible witnesses that had vetable testimonies that we could put on camera. So he began just helping me make this movie and just making sure that I had everything I need and just kind of supporting me and encouraging me. And that's how we uh, we ended up working together on this film. So it's to me, it's amazing that, you know, when we met a few years ago, we had no clue how the Lord was going to use us together. And I couldn't have made this movie without him. He was just such an encouragement. There were times where I had to go into the editing studio and edit, and I would call him up. I'm like, man, I, I just need you to cover me in prayer right now because uh, I'm just, my mind is just, you know, on the brink of just breaking down, and I feel the attacks. I feel the, the spiritual warfare and all this stuff. So we would pray, and he would encourage me, and uh, just, you know, I couldn't have made it without him. So just so thankful for Jared and amazing God's provision to uh, to put us together to make this film. You know, so uh, praise God. Who knows? Uh, who knows what we're gonna do next?